you look at my face here, you can see there's a major difference in the way my skin looks before I set my skin and after I set my skin. In this video, I'll be breaking down what setting powders are and which one you should use for your skin type. So there's two different forms of powders. Loose powder means that it comes in mineral form, kind of like sand, and pressed powder means it comes in a compact, so like solid form. Think of it like this. So you have ice and then you have water. They're both water, but in different forms so it's the same thing with the powders you have loose powders and then you have pressed powders but both of them are powders they're just in different forms these powders are ideal for all skin types so don't feel restricted onto just using one but there's different types of powders so there's a setting powder and then there's a finishing powder just like water is different from juice, those two are different types of liquids. So when we wear makeup and we move our mouths when we talk, the makeup tends to move around our skin as well. And so setting powder is what sets all those cream products. So when we do things like that, our makeup doesn't move. Giving it a flawless skin-like finish while helping to absorb the oils on the surface of the skin. So. That is a setting powder. A finishing powder is a powder that also can come in loose form or it can come in pressed form. It's usually good to blur out imperfections such as like wrinkles, pores, and texture on the skin. So it's ideal for people with textured skin, mature skin, or even if you get a lot of creasing, especially under the eyes, a finishing powder is really good to help blur that out. The reason why sometimes when you apply setting powder, it can look a little bit ashy and washed out, especially if you take a picture with flash, is probably because you're using the wrong shade. So when determining the shade you should select, there's two things to pay attention to, your skin tone and your undertone. Sometimes we tend to think skin tones and undertones are the same things, but they're not. They're very much different. Skin tone is the color on top of your skin. So basically how much melanin you have on your skin and undertone is the hue and the color underneath your skin. If you're of a deeper skin tone, you want to use a setting powder that is close to your color maybe like two to three shades lighter and if you're of a lighter skin tone then you can use either a universal shade or you can use one that's based on your undertone and skin color but you also have to remember that there's different types of setting powders for different types of skin so if you have normal to dry skin a radiant finish setting powder such as like the Laura Mercier translucent powder or the Pat McGrath setting powder would be perfect for your skin type if you have normal to oily skin or just oily skin then matte or oil absorbing setting powders are perfect such as like the Fenty retouch setting powder or the makeup forever ultra HD setting powder and also the urban decay all-nighter powder those three powders are really good for oily skin if you have textured skin then you want to get a setting powder such as like the finishing powder and my favorites are the NYX HD finishing powder and the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powders and also a really really good one is the black oil Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. So setting powder is literally the key that locks your makeup in place. So once you use it, your makeup is locked. So you always wanna make sure before applying a setting powder that your makeup is flawless and you've blended out all the harsh lines. So when you apply the setting powder, all that is locked in because you'll be setting these products in place so they don't move. So if your makeup is not well blended and you apply setting powder on top of it, you're literally setting unblended makeup. So to set my skin with setting powder, I like using a double end sponge such as this one by elf cosmetics and so i like to take the sponge and dip into the setting powder but before i apply the setting powder i like to use the other side to get rid of the creasing under my eyes before i set that and i like to work on one eye at a time to make sure that i'm cleaning off the creasing right before i set it and doing this will give you makeup that skin like finish but that's not the only thing you need to know to achieve a skin like makeup look don't ignore this video right here because it's going to teach you how to apply foundation to achieve that skin like makeup look KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's